Hey there guys, welcome back to a, another Universe Sandbox Squared video. Today we are going to be checking out what would happen if we took Jupiter and we launched it into the sun. So we need to delete Jupiter just for realistic purposes and we are going to launch this Jupiter from about here. Now we are going to do a plain 17 kilometer launch. So that's 17 kilometers a second I think. If we go into launch, yes, per second. 17 kilometers per second nothing special like the speed of light we want a legit reasonable speed so this should occur quite quickly and we'll have that on Clyde just in case we start to miss it and in case we miss any other effects that occur from this and you can see that it's quite far out still probably as far out as Mercury and I'd say that Mercury would have a, it would have an effect on Mercury's orbit, basically. Now, my predictions are, since there's different types of gases in Jupiter compared to the nuclear material that the Sun produces, I'd say Jupiter is going to cause the Sun to change colour and change the type of temperature and environment that burns, which will alter all life around the solar system, basically on Earth. So, let's take a look at Jupiter's status as we approach the Earth, uh, approach the Sun, not the Earth, my bad. Um, the surface temperature is 920 degrees Celsius and increasing practically very quickly, probably 3 degrees per minute. And this should keep rising until we hit the Sun. And I'm expecting it to maybe get up to 1,500 degrees just before we hit the sun. Maybe a bit more. So let's make this just further up in, yeah, I'd say around 1,500 degrees. Oh, wow. It just surpassed 1,500 degrees so quickly. Okay. Oh, wow. It's actually hit 3,000 degrees. That's actually double than what I expected. Maybe, maybe it will fall back down for whatever reason. What's actually going to happen if it hits, when it hits, though? That's our main question. Again, I practically, one second, before we even think of making it Clyde, let's go into our materials and see what, it's basically hydrogen and different gases, the mass, one Jupiter, obviously, which is equal to not even 1% of the sun, it's more like, 0.09% of the sun, which is actually the largest comparing object in our solar system, which is quite scary, frankly. And we can actually see that the temperature is actually decreasing. It was up at 3000 degrees before, and now it's decreased. Whether or not that was just a bug, whether or not it wasn't at 3000 degrees before, who knows, it is now. And I'm expecting, again, the color to change, Probably no other effect, to be honest. Maybe a change in temperature around the solar system going higher, just due to the energy that will be impacting and being spread out around the solar system. So, we are very close to impact. You can hear the roaring, probably over my voice. Maybe. Maybe it's slower than my voice. And it should pause. And look at this. Just before... Just before impact, Jupiter starts to turn orange. And we have collision. We have collision. We have to turn off our step on Clyde. And let's have this at a very slow rate, just so we can see things pretty realistically. And let's just speed it up a bit so we can get... Oh, okay. There's our change in the color that we expected. This is due to all the hydrogen being input, imported into the sun. And we can see that there's, frankly, a lot, and I mean a lot, of energy. Whoa! That is a lot of energy. And look at all the movement of the radiation on the sun. Look at all that energy being inputted into the sun. That is huge. And this is only 0.09% of the sun itself. Whoa! Whoa, what just happened? You can hear solar winds. It practically that is my god how how bit wow it lost mass wow 
5% of the original sun. How did that... I say, dare I say, that what happened is the hydrogen got too much and it couldn't burn because there was too much of it and it made gas and it turned everything to gas, making the mass less. And if we go to the sun and the radius of the sun, it increased by 1%, but the mass, it completely went away by 94%. My, my theory is that this has become a big ball of gas. Wow, that was not expected. So if Jupiter hit the sun, the sun would lose 94% of mass. Now, this is not probably the most accurate results we can get, but it's amazing to see that the sun would become a ball of gas, just like Jupiter, just a very large one. Now, how does this affect outer planets? Not much by the looks of it. Wait. By the prediction of the path, the Earth is actually going to be launched out from this. I guess since it's lost all that mass, all that energy is coming off, that's all the radiation just being ejected out, that solar radiation, that would kill us. Look how fast it's decreasing in temperature. Wow. That, that is amazing. And the cool thing would be that we would be able to observe it from Earth. Wow. Actually, look at this. The Earth's temperature is decreasing quite quickly. Watch how it decreases. Wow, I was expecting this to increase. This is the complete opposite of what I expected. And it's decreasing at a very fast rate. Everything's ejected out. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Vesta, the outer planets. The outer planets haven't even been affected yet. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, wait. Guys, there might be a collision between Earth and Mars. Maybe. Whoa. That is indeed close. It doesn't seem so close, but... That is perfect angling. I didn't... Oh, wait. Oh, Mars is all the way out here. <laughs> That's my bad. I thought Mars was there going the other way. No, that is not a very close call, in fact the opposite to that but it looks like Saturn there could be a collision between Saturn and the Earth Wow that's actually quite scary that that might happen I'd say it won't wait 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 it's actually quite close that's definitely closer to what? Oh, wow. Ice ball. We've became an ice or ice. And it's only been a year. Again, and realistically, we have lights on. When when there's been an extinction, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not at all. Do I think that would happen? We're going into the asteroid belt. This is dangerous, actually. Quite dangerous position, isn't it? Going through there. Asteroid belt. This would probably be the most threat to us if we didn't ice over. And I'd expect, well, 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 I thought that was very nearby. Maybe I should go pause on collision just so we don't miss anything. And believe it or not, the velocities actually by the looks of it is increasing. It might actually decrease over time just because there's going to be not as much energy to and we might everything's gone obviously we already know that how's other planets how's mars mars is practically slower towards what the earth is how is its environment cooler oh no hotter just uh, it's still in the negatives but it's hotter than what we are here on Earth. It looks as if we're definitely ice. 
definitely no life on here. Unless, again, somehow, we couldn't, pr well, we could notice it within a few days that if Jupiter was heading towards the sun, but realistically we would be probably ejected out of the solar system before then. But if we somehow had some suits that could, I don't know, probably unrealistic, I'd say. But definitely, I'd say all life on Earth is dead right here, right now. I want to see what would happen. This is just our curiosity. What would happen if we made a asteroid collide with this type of Earth? And again, realistically, there would be no light because there's no producement of light anywhere. So it would be complete darkness in the real, the realistic retrospect. Let's get grab a random asteroid and put it on a collision course with Earth, or what's left of Earth. And we have collision on Clyde. Would it increase the temperature much? No. Now, what would it have to be for us to get back to the temperature? How many would we have to... These are all different sizes, guys. Still no increase? Damn. It's going to take quite a bit of energy. Maybe we will just launch a planet in here soon. I'd expect quite a few. Still nothing. It seems like it's solid now, solid ice. Let's take it a very small planet. Small moon, let's say. And let's make it Clyde. Now this is very dangerous. This can mess it up completely we could destroy the earth completely basically if we did this because well not destroy it but reform the earth if we did this somehow i'm just curious on what this would do if we were solid ice i'm expecting maybe a lot of heat to be produced but oh we jumped up right up to 382 degrees guys that is wow wow Wow. Okay. Okay, I get the point. I get the point. It's jumping back in mass. Wow. It's it's that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Oh. Uh, we evaporated the water now. I'm expecting that the water would return very soon just due to the fact that, you know, we're in the middle of nowhere. Again, we would probably need suits if we ever could do this, if we had to get resources off the earth, etc. Um, we would have to use suits. I could imagine if we could keep this heat somehow. Again, water appears probably for a very short time span, maybe a week. Because we are in the middle of nowhere, there's no heat producement. Again, I, I doubt there would be clouds. I doubt there would be clouds. And we want to grab a prospect or a area where this will do. So, let's go to motion. Uh, climate, sorry. Um, realistically... We have no atmosphere, so it would look more like like this. It's, it looks completely different, doesn't it? Without having an atmosphere. And we barely, we don't even need clouds. It would just look like this. It would just look... You know, you have no hope in surviving that in there. Where is the... Where do we put... Where is the life likelihood? I'm just curious. Life likelihood? 90%? 91%? That's going to fall after this. This is quite interesting. Um, I'm actually quite interested to see how long it takes. So surface temperature, blah. Um, likelihood of life is quite good. And now we should start to see a decrease in that rate once it reaches below that. So, yeah. And it should go pull right down after we get into negatives. 
I'd expect no, definitely no life. You can't get life after that, can you? Who knows? Might be wrong. Um, where are we? So it would take, would probably have a month, a few months, by the looks of the increase, maybe a few years to grab our resources that aren't destroyed. Now look at this. How are our fellow planets doing? Mars. Yeah, you're not doing so well. I don't think anyone's doing well. So guys, remember to subscribe for more content. That is what happens if the sun somehow collides with Jupiter or while Jupiter collides with the sun. Quite interesting. I did not expect it to become somewhat a planet of gas. So guys, remember to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.